Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a video for you on the Masterpiece Banner. I wanted to share some of the products that I used and how I quilted it. And then I also wanted to share with you what I learned from the word Masterpiece. Give you a little bit of my insight. I really do thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the, in the quilted. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, so here you see me on the long arm. Let me give you some details on what I did. I used two layers of wool batting. This is satin fabric that I airbrushed. I embroidered the word masterpiece on it and I basted everything down. Initially, I quilt every area of the lettering I could possibly quilt down. And you can see sometimes I went off on the quilting and went on the embroidery and sometimes I kind of just wiggled out of the way and it doesn't look as clean, but no one's gonna notice. Here I'm gonna share with you all my markings that I did when I was in the design process and some of the mistakes I made while I was doing this. One of them was not knowing how to go all the way across and do this design that I had marked down. The mistake was is I ended up having to tie off a lot, which you don't wanna tie off, you wanna have a continuous quilting but you know, hey, <laughs> I'm learning. Uh, my stitches are 15 stitches per square inch and I am using stitch regulator. I like using stitch regulator because when you stop, the machine stops, when you go, it goes. And if I do continuous stitch, I notice that I feel a lot of pressure. Here I rolled this banner and I started quilting the bottom section of my banner. I did roll the fabric from one end to the other so that I have the ability to quilt more comfortably. And then after this, you see that I'm rolling it back up so I can start quilting these feathers. I did mark these feathers initially and you can see that my markings look horrible. But you know what? I took a leap of faith and I just wanted to try. And surprisingly enough, they came out beautifully. I went ahead and I did, Lisa Callie does this style. I call it repeating the arc feather. She calls it bump to bump. I'm not sure, but this is kind of her style. And also I'm sharing with you what it looks like when I'm really going real time. In the other videos, I'm going faster so you don't get bored. Here you see in this footage that I'm counting how many feathers I have. So when I quilt on the opposite end that I have the exact same amount of feathers. Now let me just say this, your feathers do not have to look the same. They don't have to be consistent or perfect. These are feathers, nothing in feathers are the same. Now here you see a really bad feather that didn't get rounded, but you really can't tell. And then after I did that, I go ahead and I arc around the feathers to give it some space. Now, I started quilting this section of the banner, and this is the different way of leaning the feather, kind of more making it a C curve, and it looks like shells. It looks really pretty. I also did this in the center of this section, and I repeated it on the opposite end. Now in this section of the video, I wanted to share with you one of the things I learned, or a couple of the things I learned of the word masterpiece. The word itself means excellence or artistry or skill. And so I looked up the definition and I kind of was like wanting to make a masterpiece for you to behold, for you to look at. I was really concerned in trying to make a beautiful piece of art. But then I asked the Lord what he thought of the word itself and what he wanted me to learn from it. And as I was quilting it, I just got such a different perspective of what the word means and what it entails. When I asked the Holy Spirit, the word he said to me is he says, you have to have a master over you to become a masterpiece. You have to have the ability to have someone to teach you and to prune you and to educate you and to push you to become something that maybe you wouldn't want to be. You know, I think sometimes I'm stubborn in my ways and I'm teachable and I don't want no one to tell me nothing, especially when I'm at the age that I'm at. But I like how he spoke it to my heart that you have to have a master over you, Lorena. I also think that about my life, like I want God to make a masterpiece out of my life, out of me. And sometimes when I didn't like some of the things that he was pushing me through or asking me to do, I didn't understand that the master was doing a work in me. A while back I was watching a potter who is a master potter 
and how he would throw the clay on top of the vessel and pound the living heck out of that vessel to get that clay to mold and be in the position that it needs to be in. And I regard the times where God has gotten on my case and has been pounding on my life and having a certain standard that maybe I didn't want to mold myself to. Anyway, as I was working on this quilt, I started meditating on allowing my master to do his work over my life. And because he's a master, I can trust him and rely on him and be confident that he knows what he's doing above all else. Being pliable, flexible, moldable, allowing change even when I don't want change. But the blessing is in my life, as you see me meandering in the inside of this banner, I think meandering is like walking through life, trying to journey through. I also think that God is working in us, in the journeys of our lives, showing us where we can do it different, where we could be better, teaching us lessons so that we could become his masterpiece. So I really do thank you for watching and allowing me to share this banner with you and my insight with you. I appreciate you and I thank you. All right, bye.